En 1988, la côte Est s'apprête à reprendre la main avec l'humour et les mélodies du groupe de la Soul. Greetings, girl, and welcome to my world of phrasing right up to back. It's the daisy age, you're about to walk top stage, so wipe your lottoes on the mat. Hip-hop love, this is, and don't mind when I quiz your involvements before the sun. But clear your court, cause this Leur is album, Free Feet High and Rising, a un tel impact qu'il est même étiqueté le Sgt. Pepper du rap. Watching other deals, cause they've already been squished. Freeze a frame of our moves the same, wish we can continue right behind the bush. You'll stay with me, I know this, but not because of all my earthly treasures or regardless to the fact that I'm passing the loose but because being here made us see just a different light I mean people in the Bronx might have seen you know crime on an everyday basis and might have seen uh, problems within the community on an everyday basis I think being out here just basically opened up our minds it wasn't like cluttered with all the noise and all the crime and all the you know all the I guess That's things crazy. that every other rapper is talking about yeah This time the magic number is two Cause it takes two, not three to seduce My destiny of love is brought to an apex Sex is a mere molecule In this world of lust that I have for you It's true, true I know I love you better The first album, you know, it was strictly on some experimentation You know, that's the level it was, you know We had our set, you know theories, I set concepts we want to do, but if something happened, if you spilled milk on the turntable and it sounded dope, it it just stayed. That's the, that's the way we operated. But when it comes to being Dela, it's just me, myself, and I. It's just me, myself, and I. It's just me, myself, and I. With the first album, it reminded a lot of people of Woodstock, the 60s and all of that, and, and a lot of people felt that we were bringing back that era, which, we I mean, we had nothing to do with it. We, we had we nothing, not know yeah. anything about it. I didn't know <laughs> anything about it myself, you know. But um, if it reminded people of that, cool, you know, it's not a problem. I'm glad, you know. It, I mean, it brought it brought back some memories for people and they can get into our music behind that you know they had their own visual aspect of what De La Soul was all about but hippies we were not you know people think they diss my person by stating I'm darkly packed I know this so I point at Q-tip and he states black is black mirror mirror on the wall puiser dans tous les genres musicaux est une des caractéristiques de De La Soul mais le procès intenté par les Turtles, finalement réglé à l'amiable, va pousser le groupe et d'autres après lui à devenir plus prudent. They've made such insignificant changes to the sound recording that it is still infringement as far as we're concerned and they have violated our exclusive rights in the sound recording. Quelle heure Quelle heure est-il Now you have to clear everything, whether it's a holler or, or a whole entire bar of a music. You know, your lawyer already sit, you usually sit down with your lawyers at the beginning of your um, album, you know, the lawyer who works at the record company or whatever, and they'll tell you, well, at this present time, you know, uh, what's his name? Uh, uh, Herb Alpha. Herb Alpha don't like rap no more. He don't want you to sample from him. Don't touch his stuff. Or Herb Alpha was asking for $8,000 up front. Do you want to pay that? You know, they'll let you know what's going on. And you get like basically this big sheet of who not to mess with, or you know if you're going to mess with them, you got to pay some dough. And it's on you to use it or not. First, you get your record, your red groove, or whatever sound that you choose to sample. Just, you know, try not to sample nothing that's going to get you sued. Um, place your record on the turntable. Play your groove or your sound that you're trying to sample. Get your level on it. First, you have to assign it to the channel that you like. And go to get your level. Sample is caught. You go to edit sample. To the channel you assigned it to. Turn your levels all the way up. 
and proceed to edit your sample to where you want to start it at. There you have it. When, it when, when you got music that black people control and black people have something to at least show and say, you know, we're proud of what we're doing. It's always pimped and it's always turned into a money vehicle and it's always dried out. But I think because of the fact that we as the youth and as black people, we love, we love rap, we love hip hop, and we're gonna do our best to keep it living. Ainsi, le voyage entrepris par Africa Bambata au début des années 80 continue à travers le temps et l'espace. À l'ère de la vidéo et des satellites, la musique s'ouvre aux influences du monde entier pendant que les ordinateurs lui donnent accès à des décennies d'histoire musicale. La planète rock de Bambata est devenue réalité. Ayant enfin réussi à sortir de la marginalité, rap, reggae, house et techno tissent désormais la trame de la musique contemporaine. Depuis ses débuts dans le delta du Mississippi, le rock and roll est devenu un vrai phénomène mondial, se réinventant lui-même à chaque nouvelle génération.